Hey YouTube, and welcome to the Dave Show for Tuesday, March 5th. Um, today's gonna be a little drama-centric video, and I'm not super into YouTube drama, but I feel like this is almost like a personal attack. Um, and it's not, it's not to me. Um, Mark Leda, who runs, first off, let's, let's pack up before I get into this. So, as in every daily upload we do, we pack a, a nice little lip here. On our way into work. You know, you gotta get, gotta get the blood flowing, man. Gotta get the blood flowing a little bit. But, back to today's video. So, Normally I do a talk video where I talk about what's going on in my life and my thoughts and ideas while I'm driving to work. But today we're going to talk about Mark Leda. A lot of you all are probably like, who's Mark Leda? And I'm going to tell you. He runs a YouTube channel called Soft White Underbelly. I've been watching him for years. And I think part of the reason why I like him so much is because he's a genuine soul and a genuine person. There's been some YouTube drama that recently came about and I just, my little 15 subscriber channel, I just wanted to have his back and support him because, and I haven't seen much attack. So I think that's good. I think a lot of people know that Mark is a good guy, he's very genuine, and he actually, to the, to the fullest extent that he possibly can, he tries to help people. So a little bit of backstory about him and his company, Soft White Underbelly. He, he's a photographer and he does portrait photos of people beyond amazing photos, portraits of people. He's a photographer by trade, he used to work for Apple, he was a big corporate guy in advertising and he just got tired of the bs man so he started working for himself started this soft white underbelly and started doing portraits of people a lot of people in skid row homeless people appalachian people and one of the families he really put on the main main screen in my opinion i think it's got like 45 million views is his video on the whitakers and that is where we lead into today's drama and it's not today it, it happened over the past couple of days but today's the first day where I'm actually seeing it like I remember to spit <laughs> I'm like I'm super into this most of the time I'm not into like what I'm talking about I'm just being lazy and driving to work but he had been accused of these funds not making it to the Whitakers or and whatnot so I, I definitely suggest you guys check out the videos i'm gonna link the videos down below so that way you guys know what i'm talking about if you don't but in visiting with the whitakers which is an inbred family in west virginia like nice people right they aren't they aren't what people paint them to be they're genuinely nice but i don't think that they should be handling that was a comment i read that i liked i don't think they should be handling the kind of money that they have coming in someone like an accountant needs to be handling it and keeping track of their accounting and that's not mark's job mark's job is just to help them as best he can give them support and this guy tyler this other youtuber pretty big he's a young guy he's got five million subs and i can't talk much about him because i i don't know anything about him i just saw the video that he made and he asked all these questions what's happening with this money that you're claiming that you're going to build these guys a house or buy a house in west virginia because they do have a little rundown house man they you know they aren't making any money they aren't working a lot of them have a hard time even communicating with each other um, just because they're genetic, you know, makeup. And I just, I feel, I feel attacked, man, because you can tell in watching any one of Mark's videos that he's a genuine guy, kind hearted. And you can also tell he has money. So what's the freaking point of him starting to go fund me to help out this family 
that he has done the most for. He has done the most for this family. He's done more than the West Virginia government has in paying them whatever welfare or whatever they're on. Take some bowling, brings them over groceries and food, takes them out for Christmas and just says, hey, buy Walmart. Whatever y'all want, throw it in the cart and we'll, we'll buy it. Like he has gone above and beyond for these people and he created a GoFundMe for the house, which I've already said, but I just want to reiterate that. It was for the house and they needed money so they would hit him up and he would pull money out of that GoFundMe and pay them when they needed money. And it became very stressful for Mark. And this guy, Tyler, adds fuel to the flame. And I'm actually kind of glad, man. And I think Mark, even looking back at it today or tomorrow or the next week or so, he's actually going to be glad that this happened and this came out because it got him out of this stressful situation. And the stressful situation is Mark knows that he's trying to buy them a house, but they keep asking for money. And by asking for money, they aren't asking for hundred bucks, 200 bucks. They're asking for 14,000, 8,000, 3,000, $5,000 every two weeks. I've grown to like the Whitakers from Mark's videos. I've grown to like Mark from his interviews of people. He's a genuine dude. And the way that this kid with a bunch of subscribers came at him it's just like, dude, what are you doing? Stay in your lane. Like what? So what, what really, what I really like, and this was one of the comments, and I just wanted to emphasize it here on this video, is someone commented on that guy's Tyler video. And again, links are all gonna be below, so that way you guys can check it out for yourself. Somebody commented on Tyler's video and said, congrats, you won a West Virginia family. Because Ty, so Mark closed out his GoFundMe and he sent them all the funds and Mark's gonna handle the taxes. Tyler just inherited Mark's problem. Everything that Mark was dealing with while trying to run this soft white underbelly YouTube channel, and I definitely suggest you guys check him out, man. Great YouTube channel, great content. I don't watch every single one of the videos. I watch the ones that I find interesting. But nonetheless, man, just stay in your lane and like, yo, if you really have a genuine person, why, why try to mess with him? And, and it's kind of right in what he said in his response video to Tyler. He said that it's social media, man. And he said it was piss poor journaling. That's not, that's not, that's my terminology, but piss poor journaling, bad reporting, not knowing the facts, not reaching out to Mark, not getting the statements that Mark showed in his video of all the money that he sent them. And it's just sad, man. It's, it's just sad that he needs to be labeled like that. And um, from the comments I've seen on Mark's video, man, everybody's super supportive. Everybody knows he's not like that. And, and he was genuinely trying to help them get a house, but it is their money. People donated to them, not to Mark, to the Whitakers. And if they needed the money, Mark's not gonna hold it from them. He's gonna pull it out and give it to them. He's gonna ask them, hey, we're trying to buy a house here. You know, Why do you want this money? And I just think it was all good intention, but just should have been done a little bit differently. Like there should have been an accountant or something, but then that's getting too involved. And that's one thing that Mark says in his videos all the time is I can't help everyone. My channel's not for helping people. It's for raising awareness about the problems that are going on in the world. And I just felt like I really wanted to, sh wanted to talk about this today um, because to be honest with you, I didn't really have much to talk about anyway. So I spent my whole morning basically watching uh, the videos of them two kind of going back and forth. I watched Tyler's video and then I watched Mark's response. And um, I'm, I'm very glad that Mark's deciding to wash his hands of it, man. I really am because he doesn't need that stress. <coughs> Excuse me. And he also doesn't need people hounding him about this money. Like he's got money. Why, why would he be worried about taking money from the Whitakers and from like a $50,000 account? That just doesn't, doesn't add up, bro. Doesn't add up at all. So. Anyway, guys, we are getting to the point where I normally end my daily videos. Um, 
closing it closing in on the 10 minute mark because I have a newer channel I'm not allowed to go past 15 minutes so I try to keep them around 10 um, anyways thank you guys for watching please show soft white underbelly some love um, I am heading into work so I don't know when I'm gonna be able to link the videos in the, the description but just know that the videos will be down there soon enough and um, remember that I love you God loves you and to have a terrific Tuesday. So thank you all for tuning in.